In this video, we'll take a quick tour of the Android G tablet. One of the first things we see is the search bar in the middle of our screen. Tapping there will bring up a keyboard. We can start typing our search terms. And I see that now the very first suggestion near the top of my screen is pharmacy near me. Tap there. And just as if we were doing a Google search on any other device, we'll see a list of results. To return to my home screen, I'm going to look all the way at the bottom of my screen, and I'll see that there are three symbols, a triangle, a circle in the middle, and a square to the right of it. Tapping that circle in the middle will return me to my home screen. Underneath the search bar, I see that there are several icons which represent the apps on my device. On the very far left of my screen, I see a square with several icons or apps clustered together. Tapping there will open a folder where I see several icons together. Google, Maps, YouTube. If I tap YouTube, it'll open. And just as if I were seeing YouTube on a desktop or any other device, I will see a list of suggested videos. And the at the top, I can tap on the search icon and enter any search here. If I want to listen to Aretha Franklin, just tap there and I can play the video by tapping on it. When I'm finished, again, I will look to the bottom of my screen and find that circle to tap and return to the home screen. Now I see the Play Store is also an app here. That's where I will go to download any apps onto my device. You will need your Google sign-in and password to do so. If you have a Gmail account, your Gmail address and password will work as your, are also your Google account. So you would just enter those to download any apps. Um, I also see that there's another folder called Essentials. If I tap there, I can bring up things like a clock or a calculator. Tapping on any app will open it and I can perform any, any calculation here. Again, when I'm done, I'm going to find that circle at the bottom of my screen to return to my home screen. In the bottom row, I see several icons, including one for notes, Gmail, and a camera. I can tap on the camera, camera icon to open it and take a picture by tapping on the white shutter button. To the left, I will see a red record button, so I could tap that and record a video. When I'm done, I will find that circle, tap on it to return to my home screen. Now, to view the picture I just took, I will tap on my gallery, which is this purple icon with the white triangle, looks like a mountain. And I'll see all of the photos I've taken with my device. I can tap on any one of those to view it, and I can swipe my finger to scroll through the items in my gallery. When I'm done, again, I'll find that circle at the bottom of my home screen and tap it to return to the home screen. There's also the square to the right of the circle. If I tap that, it'll bring up all the apps I currently have open. I can pull down on the apps to view them all. Now having multiple apps open will drain my battery more quickly. So it's a good idea to close the ones that you're not currently using. And to do that, I can just tap on the X in any of those. I also see on my device at the bottom, it says clear all. So I can tap there to quickly close all open apps. One last feature on, on the home screen is that if I go to the top of my device, in the top of my screen, I can swipe down and see the control center. I can see that I can slide my finger to reduce the brightness or increase the brightness of my device. And in the black section where I see the date and the time, to the, on the right-hand side, there's a small downward facing arrow. Tapping there will bring up the full control center. I can quickly control the sound. I can tap it once to make my device vibrate, tap again to silence it, tap again to turn the sound back on. And I can swipe my finger to the right to see if there are any other 
functions included in the control center. To close the control center, I can tap on any place on my screen and return to my home screen.